Welcome to another Teaching Tip Tuesday. Today I'd like to talk to you about the idea of just keeping your little coral warm-up ideas in a special book. So you're racing off to your choir practice, you have tried to plan that choir practice, you have been a little bit under the pump with all of the testing, the planning, the everything that you have to do and you've got an idea of what you're doing in the rehearsal, you've got it vaguely planned, but you just need another little warm-up. Okay, I'm not saying that's you, maybe I'm describing me. All right, what about just creating a special little book? Oh, surprise, I have books that look like this. Uh, this is not my choral warm-up book. This is my Teaching Tip Tuesday book. This is where I write ideas and thoughts for my Teaching Tip Tuesday. Isn't it gorgeous? Uh, but what you do is you find yourself a little special book. It can sit on your desk with your planning documents. You need an extra little great choral warm-up, grab it. Have a look and go, oh, haven't done that one for ages. Take it with you when you go to a choir PD or a repertoire reading session. You get a great idea off someone, you write it down. So keep it. You can keep it for years and years and you can look back and go, haven't done that one for ages. Or, oh, I need one that really works on particular vowel sounds and you can make notes. So I think that's really great. Here's another little one I've got. Oh, surprise, it looks like this. Uh, I love it. This one, this book, what's this book for? This one is just generally, except I can't open it. Oh, I'll tell you, it's just amazing ideas. Uh, so that's my ideas. I need those books sort of everywhere. But what's good is that I can remember what they look like and what's in what. Anyway, sorry, I digressed. The whole point of this Teaching Tip Tuesday is grab yourself a special little book and keep your choir warm-ups, your choral warm-ups in it. I think that's a great idea. But you can also apply that, of course, to other things. Some other, you might have ideas for practicing rhythm and you might write some, brainstorm some ideas and keep adding to it. So whatever you would find useful in your teaching, create a fun little book, keep it handy. There's my teaching tip for this Tuesday. Bye.